get ready to be blown away by the sheer might and power of the USS Gerald R. Ford. In this documentary, we're diving deep into the heart of this colossal aircraft carrier, uncovering the jaw-dropping life that unfolds within its massive walls as it conquers the vastness of the open sea sailing smoothly through the tide. From the adrenaline-pumping flight deck, where aircraft take off and land with mind-boggling precision like the ticks of a timer, to the maze of corridors that house amazing technology and weapons, this floating fortress is alive with action and purpose at every turn. What hidden wonders and mysteries lie in wait? And what real factual stories were woven into the very fabric of this enormous warship? We're about to find out. So buckle up and prepare for a thrilling journey inside the USS Gerald R. Ford. This floating fortress is no ordinary ship. It's a symbol of naval might, a beacon of strength. Here is a massive vessel speeding across the ocean at over 35 knots, carrying the hopes and dreams of an entire nation. These colossal carriers, stationed worldwide, stand ready to deploy at a moment's notice. It is not just their sheer size that leaves an indelible impression, but the magnificence it shares, which makes it the most expensive warship ever built. A closer look will view the frantic motion of activity on the flight deck, where jets are launched and landed every 25 seconds. Despite being far out into the ocean, these carriers transform into self-sustained communities, operating with remarkable efficiency. However, Gaining access to these restricted areas is a privilege reserved for the chosen few. Secrets are hidden beneath the highest levels of the island, the flight deck, the hangar, and the fantail. Breathtaking views intertwine with lurking dangers, creating an atmosphere of excitement and caution. Yet, amidst the controlled chaos, the aircraft carrier conceals facilities reminiscent of those found on land. Countless corridors echo with footsteps and the hum of machinery below decks, where sailors toil away, sometimes going weeks without glimpsing daylight. Life on an aircraft carrier is a unique adventure, defined by camaraderie and shared purpose. Construction. The US Navy signed a groundbreaking $5.1 billion contract with Northrop Grumman Shipbuilding in Newport News, Virginia, to bring this colossal warship to life. Construction began in 2005, and by 2008, the project was in full swing. On the 14th of November 2009, a momentous occasion took place as Ford's daughter, Susan Ford Bales, ceremonially laid the keel of the new warship. In a moving speech, she reflected on her father's legacy and the challenges he faced as P. the 38th President of the United States. The ship's crest, a symbol of its identity, was thoughtfully developed by the ship's sponsor and first commanding officer. Over the years, the ship steadily took shape. By 2011, it was reported to be halfway complete, with construction reaching 75% in 2012. Each milestone brought the ship closer to its completion, including the critical moment when the lower bow was lifted into place, marking a significant achievement. By 2013, the ship had reached an impressive 90% structural completion. The island, a prominent feature of the carrier, was successfully landed, signifying another milestone in the ship's progress. In May of that same year, the final superlift was put in place, marking 100% structural completion. To honor tradition, a time capsule was welded into a small room containing items chosen by President Ford's daughter. The launch and naming ceremony were originally slated for 2013, but production delays pushed the dates to October and November of that year, respectively. The ship's dry dock was flooded for the first time, allowing testing of seawater-based systems. On the 9th of November 2013, Susan Ford Bales christened the ship with a bottle of American sparkling wine, sealing its identity as the Gerald R. Ford. The construction journey, however, was not without challenges. Budget difficulties and technical issues led to delays and increased costs. By 2016, construction costs had reached a staggering $12.8 billion, making the Gerald R. Ford the most expensive warship ever built. Testing delays and problems with flight systems further extended the timeline,
but the ship's completion remained a top priority. Despite these obstacles, the dedication and expertise of the shipbuilders prevailed. By October 2019, Gerald R. Ford was ready to serve the Navy and the nation, a true testament to American ingenuity and determination. Recreation Center. Let's discover the incredible recreational facilities aboard the USS Gerald R. Ford, designed to enhance the well-being and morale of the crew. These areas offer a wide range of activities for crew members to enjoy during their precious downtime. Let's start with the impressive gym and fitness center. Equipped with state-of-the-art exercise equipment, such as treadmills, stationary bikes, weight machines, and free weights, this facility ensures that sailors can stay in top shape and maintain their health even while at sea. For those seeking relaxation, a movie theater awaits. Here, crew members can unwind and immerse themselves in films during their off-duty hours, providing a much-needed break from their demanding responsibilities. The ship's library provides a serene space for reading, studying, or simply escaping into the world of a good book. It's a haven where sailors can find solace and intellectual stimulation amidst the busy ship environment. Maintaining a neat and disciplined appearance is crucial, and that's where the onboard barbershop comes in. Staffed by trained professionals, it offers crew members access to haircuts and grooming services, ensuring they always look their best while serving at sea. To foster the leisurely interaction, various game and lounge areas are available. These spaces are equipped with comfortable seating, television screens, gaming consoles, and a plethora of board games and card games. They provide the perfect setting for crew members to unwind, socialize, and engage in friendly competition. Now let's not forget about the indispensable ship store. This vital shop offers a wide selection of items, including toiletries, clothing, and electronics. Sailors can conveniently purchase snacks, drinks, and other essential items, as well as find souvenirs and gifts for their loved ones back home. The prices at the store are comparable to those on land, and payment can be made with cash or credit. To ensure the crew's sustenance during their service, sailors receive a non-taxable basic allowance for substance, or BAS, which covers their food costs on board. They can conveniently use their Navy exchange card to purchase groceries and other necessities at the ship stores, which offer prices similar to those found on shore. Operated by the Navy Exchange Service Command, NEXCOM, these stores provide a variety of products, and the profits are reinvested to maintain affordable prices for the sailors. The USS Gerald R. Ford's recreational amenities play a vital role in fostering a sense of well-being, camaraderie, and relaxation for the dedicated crew members who serve aboard this remarkable vessel. Galley. Indeed, the galley of an aircraft carrier is a bustling hive of activity and is often considered the heart of the ship. It serves a critical role in feeding the thousands of crew members on board, providing up to 18,000 meals a day. Feeding such a large number of people at sea is no easy task, and the galley plays a vital role in ensuring the crew is well-fed. The galley is a vast kitchen that spans multiple decks on the ship. It is equipped with various cooking equipment, such as ovens, fryers, grills, and more to prepare a wide range of meals. Over a hundred sailors, many with specialized training in culinary arts, work in the galley to ensure the smooth operation of meal preparation. The galley operates 24 hours a day, and sailors can grab a meal whenever they have a free moment. Meals are served in shifts to ensure that the crew is fed throughout the day. The menu changes daily to provide variety, and the food is always fresh. Regular resupply missions are conducted, known as underway replenishments, where a supply ship meets the aircraft carrier at sea to provide essential supplies, including food and fuel. The galley is divided into different sections, each with its specific responsibilities. For example, there is a bakery section where fresh bread and pastries are made, a salad section that provides fresh greens and toppings, an entree section responsible for hot dishes, and a dessert section where sweets and treats are prepared. Meals are served buffet style, allowing sailors to choose from a wide range of dishes, including classic American options and international cuisine. 
The galley also caters to sailors with specific dietary requirements. Vegetarian or allergic sailors can request special meals tailored to their needs, ensuring that everyone on board is well-fed and healthy. The coordination and skills of the galley team are crucial in ensuring the success of feeding the crew. They work tirelessly to prepare an astonishing number of meals each day, adapting to long and unusual working hours. Time management is crucial in the galley, and culinary specialists must be efficient managers of their craft. Resupply. Resupplying an aircraft carrier in the middle of the sea during extended missions is indeed a carefully planned and coordinated operation. Typically, the aircraft carrier is accompanied by a fleet of supply ships tasked with keeping it operational. The process of resupplying is carried out using an ingenious system called underway replenishment. During underway replenishment, the supply ships approach the aircraft carrier while both vessels are still in motion. They are then connected using cables, lines, and hoses to facilitate the transfer of supplies, fuel, and ammunition from the supply ship to the aircraft carrier. This process requires precision and careful handling, especially when transferring large amounts of volatile and combustible materials like fuel. To ensure safety during resupply operations, supply ships are equipped with various safety measures, such as spill containment systems, fire suppression equipment, and other safety gear. Specially trained sailors are responsible for overseeing the transfer of supplies and fuel, and they work diligently to carry out the process quickly and efficiently to minimize the time the aircraft carrier spends alongside the supply ship. Resupplying an aircraft carrier at sea poses several challenges. The unpredictable nature of the high seas, including rough weather and high waves, can make the transfer operation difficult. Additionally, the transfer of large quantities of materials requires precise coordination and skill to prevent any mistakes that could have catastrophic consequences. Now, let's move on to the hangar bay, which is another essential area of an aircraft carrier. Hangar bay. The hangar bay is located directly below the flight deck on an aircraft carrier, is a massive and bustling area where aircraft are stored, maintained, and prepared for flight operations. It is one of the largest spaces on the carrier and plays a crucial role in the ship's overall mission. In the hangar bay, mechanics and ground crew members work diligently like ants, inspecting and repairing aircraft engines, using flashlights and turning wrenches. The atmosphere is filled with the sounds of machinery, power tools, and the hum of the ship's engines. The sailors working in the hangar bay have various responsibilities, with aircraft maintenance being a primary focus. They perform routine inspections, repairs, and servicing of the aircraft to ensure they are in peak condition and ready for flight operations. Sailors work in specialized teams, each focusing on a specific area of aircraft maintenance, such as airframes, engines, avionics, or weapon systems. They rely on technical manuals, computer-based diagnostic tools, and hands-on experience to carry out their duties effectively. Another critical task in the hangar bay is moving the aircraft. Sailors utilize specialized equipment like tow tractors and aircraft jacks to maneuver the planes in and out of their parking spots and onto the ship's elevators. These elevators transport the aircraft between the hangar bay and the flight deck, where they are launched and recovered during flight operations. The hangar bay may also be used for training exercises and drills throughout the day. These activities help sailors sharpen their skills and ensure they are prepared for various situations that may arise during real-life operations. Training scenarios can include firefighting drills, damage control exercises, and emergency response simulations. Safety is of utmost importance in the hangar bay, and sailors are continually mindful of potential hazards. Strict safety protocols and procedures are followed to minimize risks and maintain a safe working environment. Now, let's move up to the flight deck, where the aircraft take off and land. This is where life on the carrier can get incredibly dynamic and challenging. Flight deck. Working on the flight deck of an aircraft carrier, launching and landing jets on a small runway like the USS Gerald R. Ford is demanding and exhausting, but it's also exhilarating. The flight deck is the epicenter of activity, 
a bustling and dynamic environment where cutting-edge aircraft take off and land. Measuring approximately 1,092 feet in length and covering four and a half acres, the flight deck of this massive aircraft carrier can accommodate over 75 aircraft, including advanced fighter jets, surveillance planes, and helicopters. It is divided into separate zones for launching and recovering aircraft. On one end of the flight deck, aircraft are launched using advanced electromagnetic aircraft launch systems, emails. This groundbreaking technology has replaced the traditional steam-powered catapults. Emails allows for smoother and more efficient launches, reducing wear and tear on the aircraft while increasing their payload capacity. On the other end of the flight deck, aircraft land using the Advanced Arresting Gear System, or AAG for short. When an aircraft lands, the system deploys a tail hook that catches one of the arresting wires stretched across the deck. The AAG system then absorbs the kinetic energy, bringing the aircraft to a complete stop within just a short distance. This advanced system enables safer and more efficient recovery of aircraft, even in the most challenging weather conditions. The men and women working on the flight deck experience the intensity and adrenaline rush of handling these operations around the clock. Their skill, training, and teamwork are essential to ensuring the successful launch and recovery of aircraft in this high-stakes environment. Swim Call A swim call is a recreational activity that is occasionally allowed when the ship is in a safe and secure location. During a swim call, sailors and other personnel are allowed to jump into the water and swim for some time, providing a much-needed break from the demanding and stressful life on board. Participation in swim calls is voluntary, and sailors who choose to participate must follow certain guidelines. They may be required to wear life jackets or other safety equipment, and are instructed to stay within the designated swimming area. The duration of swim calls is typically limited, and sailors are required to return to the ship promptly when it is over. Swim calls serve as morale-boosting activities for sailors who spend extended periods at sea. They provide a temporary respite from the demanding and sometimes stressful environment aboard an aircraft carrier, allowing sailors to relax, have fun, and enjoy a sense of normalcy as they discharge of their duties. In the past, when U.S. Navy sailors embarked on voyages, they had limited opportunities for bathing due to the restricted water supply on board. But these days, swim calls have evolved providing an opportunity for crew members to indulge in a refreshing dip in the ocean. Before a swim call is allowed, the ship's crew conducts safety checks and protocols to ensure the area is clear of potential hazards, such as marine life or debris. Safety boats and lifeguards are present on standby to respond to any emergencies. Even though swim calls can sometimes take place in challenging conditions, they remain highly sought after by the crew. During swim calls, sailors may engage in whimsical competitions and activities, injecting extra excitement, laughter, and camaraderie into the experience. They may leap off some of the elevators in the hangar bay, reaching heights of up to 30 feet, equivalent to a standard Olympic diving platform. Precision and safety are important as they gracefully plunge into the water. After enjoying their break during a swim call, sailors must return to the ship, they often use cargo nets skillfully deployed by the bosun mates or the ship's landing docks. These moments add a touch of tradition and honor to the swim call experience, showcasing the sailors' agility and teamwork. Swim calls are cherished events that create lasting memories and provide a much-needed respite for sailors serving on U.S. Navy aircraft carriers. Advanced Features No ship, including the USS Gerald R. Ford, is considered unsinkable. While the Gerald R. Ford is a highly advanced and capable warship, it is still subject to the laws of physics and vulnerable to various threats. The ship is designed with multiple layers of defense and redundancy to enhance its survivability. This includes advanced armor, compartmentalization, and damage control systems to mitigate damage in the event of an attack. Additionally, the ship's advanced radar and communication systems provide early detection and allow for effective countermeasures against threats. However, it's important to note that the effectiveness of any warship, including the Gerald R. Ford, relies on a combination of factors such as the skill and training of the crew, situational awareness, 
and the ability to respond to threats effectively. In a combat scenario, the outcome can depend on numerous variables, including the capabilities and strategies of adversaries. Naval warfare is a complex and dynamic field, and the survivability of a warship ultimately depends on a variety of factors, including the specific threat it faces, the effectiveness of its defenses, and the tactical decisions made during a conflict. While the Gerald R. Ford incorporates advanced technology and design features to enhance its survivability, it is not invulnerable to damage or sinking. Weapon System Here is a thrilling revelation about the USS Gerald R. Ford's cutting-edge weapon system. This revolutionary technology is known as the Electromagnetic Railgun. The railgun is unlike anything you've ever seen. It utilizes an electromagnetic field to accelerate projectiles at mind-boggling speeds, hypersonic speeds to be exact. With a jaw-dropping range of up to 100 nautical miles, it can launch projectiles at an astonishing velocity of up to Mach 7. This makes it one of the most advanced and lethal weapons in the world. But here's the catch. The railgun has faced challenges on its path to deployment. One major hurdle is its insatiable appetite for energy. It demands an obscene amount of power to operate. And that's not all. It generates an intense amount of heat that can warp the barrel, rendering it a one-time use weapon. Cooling the barrel and the superconductors responsible for the magnetic field is no easy task either. However, all hope is not lost. Enter the USS Gerald R. Ford, a true game changer. Equipped with two nuclear reactors, this mighty vessel can generate a staggering 1.38 megawatts of electricity, nearly triple the power of its Nimitz-class predecessors. This immense power supply makes the deployment of railguns on the Ford a tantalizing possibility. But that's not the only advantage. The open seas offer a crucial asset, water. Water sourced from the carrier systems can be ingeniously employed to cool the railgun barrels. This means that the Ford possesses the ideal conditions for harnessing the full potential of this awe-inspiring weapon. Now, let's turn our attention to another critical component of the USS Gerald R. Ford's offensive capabilities, the Tomahawk Land Attack Missiles, or TLAMs. These long-range, all-weather subsonic cruise missiles are the backbone of an aircraft carrier's attack potential. Capable of striking targets both at sea and on land, the Tomahawks boast an impressive range of up to 2,500 kilometers. But it doesn't stop there. These missiles are equipped with advanced guidance systems, ensuring remarkable accuracy. With precision strikes, they minimize the risk of collateral damage and maximize the effectiveness of each assault. The Tomahawks are the silent predators of the high seas, capable of reaching deep into enemy territory without endangering the USS Gerald R. Ford. 